Hello everybody and welcome to the all new Farmer's Dynasty. This game was released on the 14th of December and it is still early access so you have to expect a few things to not be 100% and obviously you can report problems or give suggestions on the forum. Um, but really what we're going to do today is take a look and see what is new. Okay, so while it's loading I'll just very quickly explain one thing. Um, we're going to hopefully start the game again, do everything which we've done before and this time with a bit of luck the save game won't be overwritten. Obviously we can't say that it won't be, but there is more chance of it not being since this is the official release. There are some tips being posted down at the bottom there. Sharing food with people is a good way to make friends. If you store food in the pantry, your wife will prepare delicious treats you can eat or sell. Here we go. Oliver, we've seen you before, but do you now have a voice? Hello, I'm your neighbor. My name's Oliver. I've been looking after this farm since your grandfather passed away. Nice to meet you, Oliver. I appreciate your help. So this is my heritage? Yes, this nice farm and piece of land are all yours now. Welcome to our little county. Thanks. I don't know much about farming, but I'm a quick learner. I'm sure you'll fit in just fine. We're all good folk living here, and we help each other out. Please follow me. I'll show you around. Well, thank you, Oliver. Come on. I am. Let's go. This way. So, yeah. There is an example of the uh, the voice acting. I think it's pretty good. Obviously much better than the text-to-speech which was there before. Let's see him explain. See, the farm is quite in a poor shape. Few repairs have been done here. I agree. Here's your house. The roof needs work, but you can have some sleep here, perhaps. Or even you will have to bring this farm to a good shape yourself. Soon you'll see how to do it. Follow me. I'm just going to check if the uh, voice can actually be uh, increased. We can put the sound up. I'm just a bit cautious of the tractor. It might be a bit too loud. Here's the garage for your vehicles. It's empty now, but I'm sure you'll need it pretty soon. Your grandpa didn't finish the upper floor, but if you can afford building materials, then you can fix the construction yourself. Okay. So, does it cost money now to repair stuff? Sounds like it probably does. What about this building here? Is this the store? This is your barn. It's our barn. Empty for now, but you can use it to store hay for your animals. Just fix these holes first, or everything will get wet and rot. Okay, sounds simple enough. Your grandfather's old animals have all been sold. You will have to buy your own. Again, the cows are quite expensive, but the hens are very cheap. The cow shed is old and needs some work, but it's still solid. You can do the fixes and upgrades yourself. Try fixing those holes first. I see you've come prepared and have your own tools. Good. Try to fix these doors since it's stuck and won't open. Right, so, do we have a hammer? I don't think we do. I think we've been given a different tool. We do. A nail gun. And it looks like there's only two stages now, too. It should open now. Brilliant, look at that. Come on. Nail that. Let's follow you again. There are actually quite a few different tools you can use. There is a grinder with a flappy sanding disc on it, the nail gun, a hammer, and build a scaffold to climb up there and yeah, check the roof. That scaffolding. So if I just go onto the tab menu again, we'll go onto the scaffold, which is just here. We put it here, and then left click. And the scaffolding has been built. I think we can build all the way around if we want to. It's endless. You can just keep going. So that is a, a very nice idea. Obviously, that is taking the place of the ladder which we had before. So, um, <laughs> how would you get up there? There we go. It had to be in the correct place for it to work. So from here, we can climb up. 
It feels much safer than the ladder anyway. Aspiring farmer. How's it looking? It's looking good, thank you. He's going. I'll do a few more, since we need to do this anyway. And once more. There we go. Fantastic. Let's just jump off. He's going to show us the greenhouse and the silo, which both need to be repaired. You can store harvested grains in the silo, so you can use these later, or sell them if you want. Before you use the silo, remember to fix it first. We will, and we'll do it in a minute, I should think. Yeah, if you were going to repair this, you'd actually get the grinder out and sand off all the rust. Which I'll show you in a minute or two. Take a look at the greenhouse. You can grow some veggies here fast to earn some quick money. Still, you'll have to fix these holes so your plants can grow to a best effect. It's a bigger greenhouse than it used to be. It used to just be a single one, so that's I much better. My grandfather bought some materials to fix it already. You can use it to rebuild the greenhouse as good as you can. We'll do that straight away. Right. So, if we just go up to here, and we press F... Oh, wow, look at that. Another tool. Uh, yeah. One of these buttons. It used to be F3. That's changed. Let me just go on to here. There we go. So, it is actually that tool then. Right, okay. I see. Is that a riveter? I think it is. I used... Let me just see which uh, button it was. It was F2. Okay. It used to be F3, I think. Happy? You're pretty good at this. I'm sure you'll do well on this farm. Actually, I might have a job for you myself. Hmm. What is it? Why don't you come to my place and do some fixes to my barn? It's mostly roof that needs work but some walls need attention too. I don't have much money, but I'll give you my old tractor as a reward. I'm sure you can use it. Sounds good. Sounds good. I'll take care of this. Right, so we're going to go and do that. We're going to go and follow Oliver. Well, actually, we don't need to follow him. We can just run straight past him and we can go and repair his barn. Now, in return... Uh, Hang on. Oliver seems to be very fond of you. Okay, that's good to know. Uh, yeah, in return for this, we actually get his tractor. Now, this is the green tractor which we had before, but I'm pretty sure that it is no longer green. I think it has changed colour. In fact, I think it has totally changed its textures altogether. As far as I can gather, the tractor we start off with is now red. Now, it might well be parked up here, so we might be able to see it anyway. Um, but no, I'm intrigued to see. This is Oliver's farm. That is the barn he wants to have repaired, so we'll do that. And really, the sooner I can get things done, the better. Because, uh, to be honest, we've done all this before, and I would like to just get it finished. A big log. I think he comes back here and starts cutting the log up. So that is the building. If I just get my scaffolding out by pressing 3, F3, uh, we can left click and we can build the scaffold all the way around. We can even put it over these uh, contraptions. We probably don't even need to put it all the way around, it's just it's going to make it easier to walk along the side. And from here, I would have thought that the nail gun will do fine. I would hope. So here goes. Let's get this repaired first of all. It takes four, four nails to do each piece. So as you can see, we have now finished the barn. It was a very quick and easy task to do. In fact, I think there's probably less to repair this time than what there was in the beta version. So I, I'm pretty sure they have made it easier and have made jobs faster. We use the trowel to do the air bricks just here. So there are quite a few, I think there's probably at least four different tools to use. 
Does that look familiar to you? Well, here it is. It's the Jack Bear C. This is the tractor we're going to get very soon. First of all, I'm just going to put my trowel away. We'll speak to Oliver. Looking good and solid. Thank you. Now, I don't have much money, but as promised, that old Jack Bear over there is all yours. It should do well until you can afford a real new tractor, but you can totally start field work now. Yep, my funds are kind of short, but I think I'll need more farming machines. You should talk to people. I'm sure a lot of them will have some work for you too. You'll need a plow, a cedar perhaps, and I've seen a cultivator already on your farm. Good luck with farming. I will look around. Thank you. So there we go. That is the introduction finished. And I think we'll have this back. Yeah, you're not keeping this. Let me just, uh, yeah. We'll, we'll take it down for you. If I just go up to it and press this button to remove it, press E. You have to be in the right position. Oh, no, got stuck on something there. There we go. This one as well. And finally, there we go. We probably don't have to take it down. It's just it would seem a bit wrong not to take it away with us. So, uh, yeah, our tractor. Yay. Like I say, I think we're going to have to put the volume down a bit. And instantly, I noticed there four different settings, four different controls. Cruise control, camera change, lights, and exit the tractor. Cru uh, cruise control is the most uh, appealing one which I've seen there. So there we go, that is cruising. It says cruise at the bottom. So we're going to use this tractor to now go back to our farm. Yeah, do not destroy people's crops. Very important. Because your social points plummet as mine just attempted to there. So uh, that is definitely one of the biggest recommendations if you're going to play this game yourself. Now what I'm really wanting to do is go and see the vehicle shops just to see if there are any other vehicles included which weren't in the beta. Now honestly I've never been there before and I would guess that there aren't any and the reason why I say that is because I think really the focus has been to get the game properly working and to add the voices and stuff like that in not really to produce any more vehicles but I should think the developers will produce more vehicles I would guess but I don't know um, but it's just a, a bit of a, a guess which I'm having here that nothing will have really changed over at the vehicle shops we might be pleasantly surprised but I'd be prepared not to see a big difference there now what we do need to do, very importantly, is start repairing our farm. That really is a big priority. And we don't actually need to uh, do too much here at the moment because we do need to focus on uh, getting the equipment in again. So doing jobs for the people, but the house is a bit of a priority. Most of this, in fact all of the repair work here will be done as a time lapse because we've done it before, we just need to get it back to how we were and then we'll be doing well. Hmm. So yeah, let me just go on the minimap first of all. That is a job. That is something. I'm not too sure, something new I suppose. Maybe they are places which you should go to and discover what's actually happening there. I would say it is. Um, but yeah, just what I really would love to do, like I say, is just go to the vehicle store. First of all, I think we'll probably run there. It isn't very far at all. Uh, and actually, yeah, another thing we need to do as a priority is get some hens. Because with the hens, at least we can get some eggs and then we can start selling stuff and getting some money in. This is going to be much faster than, well, all my other episodes. It's taken about 15 episodes just to get to the stage where we're at now. So, well, well, where we were before, we're back at square one. But I don't think it'll take 15 episodes. I should think it'll take about five, hopefully. Um, because there's going to be tons done off screen. Tons of them in a time lapse, and really just generally, we're going to be skipping stuff we've already done. This is Janet's place. This is where we had to do all that repair work, which wore us out. So it would be very interesting to see what we have to do to uh, get the combine this time. Let's change colour. It's now yellow uh, or orange or something. Yes, I would say 
there is much less work to do. Most of it's already done. So actually, it's going to be dead easy to get back to where we were before. I won't go up to her because she's going to start the job. Um, but that combine we do need to acquire very soon. No rush at the moment. Now one thing I've also noticed is the glare, from what I can tell, has been taken off the roads. Before, there was a very uh, obvious glare on the roads, which was pretty bad looking actually. And I think that that has now disappeared. Obviously we'll go over to a road in a second and just take a closer look. But I was on a road back there and it didn't seem to exist anymore. So that is really, really good news. As for the vehicle shop, I wonder if it has a different sign or if it just says farm machinery. It isn't the final game though. That is what we must remember. Yep, yeah, farm machinery still. So yeah, as predicted, nothing has changed here. What about the prices? Exactly the same. Okay, well, at least that has uh, clarified that. Not bad though. Uh, so far, I'm impressed with the changes. So, um, the plow is, is one of the things we can do here, and the combine harvester. I think as we're so close to the combine, We'll do that first. I think it took me about an hour or more, um, first time around, to, just to get the combine. Let's see how long it takes this time. Isn't that new? I am pretty sure that was not there before. If you do find any glitches or anything you'd like to be added to the game, the best place to go to, as I said before, is the Steam Forum. In fact, that is the only place, I think. I don't think there is anywhere else. I might be wrong. If there is, then uh, I'm sure the developers will post it on their website or on the Steam page or something. But no, I'd say the Steam dis discussion page is going to be the best place to be. Right, so here we are. It's going to speak to her first of all, and then we can begin. I think she's got just the barn and the hen house. Hello, mister. I'm Janet. Have we met? I'm your neighbor. I live just across that lake. Moved in not long ago. Hey, we just moved in too. Bought this farm and greenhouses to start a tomato business. But it's such a mess. I feel cheated. The greenhouses are a ruin. It's a bit quiet. I guess I can help you restore these. Can you now? That would be so great. But I don't have much money to pay you. What about that harvester over there? I think it's worth the effort. I can take it for an exchange. This sounds great! We have no use for it anyway. We wish to plant tomatoes, don't own any fields. In this case, I'm on it. I will fix your greenhouses in exchange for that harvester. What about that barn over there? Can you fix it too? I'll add the header to sweeten the deal. A lot of work, but it's worth it. A lot of work, but it's worth it. Yeah. Sorry, I should have turned the volume up again. There's a lot of uh, volume changes going to be done here just because of the uh, difference in uh, volume levels between the machines. So, um, yes, fix the greenhouse first of all. Now, this is where we get the grinder out. Look at that. Well, actually, it isn't. Yeah, it's not a grinder as such. It's. Yeah, it's just like a either a wire wheel or a sanding disc. That is doing it much quicker too, I would have thought. It is, you only have to left click twice, whereas before it was three times at least. So to do all of this, it's going to be super fast. We're already here. I don't know if we have to do the concrete as well. If we do, I would have thought it would be done with the... Um, let me just... Hang on, no, wait, it's totally different. That is totally different. This game has changed a lot. Anyway, I'll keep going. And I don't think it's going to take too long. In fact, can you double click? You almost can do. We're already here. And the rest of it is already finished. Wow, it's only half damaged. We'll do the tables as well. We'll clean the rust off. Okay, and then this one as well. In fact, all of them. Well, this is the final table. Then we just have to do the front of the building and then I think we're finished. So the door, only one left click for the door. Two for the windows, the window frames. And it's covering a larger area. Does the roof need, oh, the roof needs to do two actually. So there is still a bit to do. 
But overall, pretty easy. And it's not like I don't want to do hard work, it's just when you're doing the same thing over and over again, it does get repetitive. So I'm really pleased the developers have uh, looked at this and thought, yeah, we agree, and then have changed it. So if I put these up here, uh, we have to put the, the steps in as well. And we can go onto the roof. It's just the middle section then that needs to be done. But again, it is much faster. It's doing the whole area. Phew. Hot work up here. Oh, hello. Do you want to help? Spectator sport. And I would say all we have to do now is this part. Whoa. Wow, what did I... I landed on the door. What were the chances of that? Four left clicks to do this. And then that is that section done. I should think we have to do the same part at the back and then the greenhouse should be finished. Yeah, so we jump onto the table. We can just about reach. And there we go. No, there is one more thing. I have missed something. What did I miss? I have missed something. Hmm. I actually can't see anything I missed there, so I think we'll just move on to the next building. Maybe it's not going to tell us each time, well done. Um, so we'll get the nail gun out and do stuff over here. It does pre-select it, it does do it for you, which tool you need to have. So if you press F1, it will just open up the relevant tool. Which I suppose makes it much easier for you. Let's go inside. If only DIY was so easy in real life. Okay, now I've got the, the rest of the roof to do. And then we've got this section here. Right. And then we've got some internal parts as well. That's good. We've got the wall. Really, we should go up onto the roof. We can reach it from here. So, I might just be lazy and stay down on the ground. Get things done as fast as possible. Is it finished after this section here? No. There is this section here as well. And possibly another piece of wall. There we go. Just keep spamming left mouse button. This must be the end of this section, I would hope. How are we doing? Ah, we have to do the fence as well. So I'm going to go off screen. I'm going to go and do all of this. It shouldn't take too long. So I'll see you in a second. That is the hen house completed. So we finish off with the barn. I think that pretty much does confirm that we don't get told each time we've finished a building. You just keep going until everything is completed on every building. Whoa, it's pretty bad. Let's get it filled in. Uh, actually, yeah, it's mostly just the roof. The wall over here is bad as well. So I'll put some more scaffold up and then we can uh, finish off. And hopefully, we then get given the Combine Harvester. Can we open this? We can. Okay, F3. We should just be able to put one piece of scaffold up, hopefully. There we go. Nail gun the rest. Now, as far as I'm aware, until the 21st of December, this game is 10% off. Um, it's $24.99 in the UK. Obviously you'd have to do your own conversions for your own country unless you want to just log into Steam and check out the store page. It should tell you automatically anyway in your currency. Um, but yes, 10% uh, off until the 21st it would appear. Right, do we have to do this section here? Whoa! Ow! 
Ow, that was actually a pretty big drop. Ah, the air bricks here, or well, the old bricks here have been not done as well. Is that finished? Oh, oh no, another greenhouse. So it would appear, the days where you had to repair windows with a hammer have now gone. Which I think everybody would agree is much better. Much more realistic because I don't think the hammer is the best tool to be using around a glass window. So the fact that the windows are still intact and then you just have to uh, wire wheel the frames I think is much better. Because it was a bit risky. Now I would hope this table is the final thing. It is not. <laughs> we've got, what? It still says fix the barn. I'm sure we've done the barn. Um, it's pointing to this, but I must have missed something. What did I miss? I've missed... Aha! There is a hole in the wall. Is this going to be the end of the job? Can we have the combine harvester? No, I've missed something in the hen house too, apparently. Hang on, wait. Fixed. No, it's just going, it's cycling through, isn't it? I've done them. Yep, there we go. Return to Janet and ask for a reward. Janet, the job's all done. It is. That's fantastic. The harvester and header are all yours. I can also sell you the seedlings cheaper if you wish. That's interesting. So if we don't want to go to the agricultural store for the seed, we can go to Janet. Very, very, very good. How many times can you say very? Getting a bit carried away here. Quite excited. I do like this game. Anyway, um, yes, it's here. And look, a new header for our corn. Very interesting. So, um, yes, let's drive it home. What is the game volume like? I don't think this is too loud, actually. This machine. Let's get it attached. And we'll do cruise control. Pretty sure it's the same sound effects and everything. But at least we now know exactly what all the controls are. If you remember about a week ago, maybe a week and a half ago, I did acquire the very old Cedar, and there were no controls actually associated with it, and I couldn't even do it. There is the road, by the way, if you're looking for glare. You won't find any. The glare has gone. But yes, the uh, I couldn't find any controls for the seed drill. So, at least now it tells us on the screen. In fact, look at that. That is a good screenshot. Now, if something you want me to check out in the future videos, if you haven't got the game yourself, then please just post down below. If you've got a question, like, does this do something in particular? Uh, oh, no, there's glare on the road there. It's interesting. There's no glare down there. Hmm. Anyway, um, yes, if, if there's anything in particular you want me to take a look at, then we can take a look at it in a future video. Just let me know. Ah, uh, we better do that just really quickly. Speak to the stranger. Hello, I'm John. I'm the tradesman here. Best prices, you know. Oh, I see. What's your trade? A bit of everything. <laughs> Nails, soap, some food, you know. I'll also buy fresh food from you, if you can spare. Nothing big, but I could use some fish, apples, mushrooms perhaps, you know. Well, that's really good to know. I'll see you around. Alright. Not going anywhere, you know. We do know. Yes, we'll be selling you eggs, I think. You can have our eggs. Off we go. 200 social points for speaking to him. Ooh, is that bus stop new? Traffic. Yes, traffic is a, a point I was wanting to come on to. I can't see any. I should think that is going to be here in the future. Let me just open the gate. It does need to be repaired. But we now have the combine harvester and we haven't felt like we were working for days slaving away repairing those buildings because it's obviously much easier. Uh, Janet was kinder on us this time. So in this video we have acquired the tractor and the combine harvester. I think that is a pretty good start. We do have the cultivator apparently. I think it is actually a harrow. Oh, I've possibly put scaffolding up. Yes I did. 
Um, let me just run around here. Yep, it's a harrow. Uh, but we can buy a cultivator if we would like to, when we can afford it. But I think really the priority is going to be uh, doing a few jobs, repairing everything here, but it's just going to be so much quicker and easier now that things have been changed. Anyway, um, I think we do need to eat as well, just eat a tomato. But that is the current state of Farmer's Dynasty. Let me know what you think. If you have any suggestions, probably best not to post it on my video. It's best to post it on the Steam forum where the developers and publishers can actually read them. Um, but yeah, well, actually, it's... Yeah, they can read it on my video, but that is a better place. You'll get a much more direct answer. Anyway, we'll leave it there. Thank you for watching, and until next time, see you again very soon. Bye for now.